Rise from your grave. Hey everybody, welcome to Game Grave. Happy holidays, right? Nah, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Uh, this is Fork Parker's Holiday Profit Hike. This is a game that came out right around Christmas time, and it's for free from Devolver and Dodge Roll there. Um, this was a surprise to me because it's actually a pretty good game that they offer for free, and I guess they only made it in a few days. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Let's get right into the game. You see here, you got Fork Parker. The chairman says, Fork, revenue is down. We need to see growth in Q4. Fork. I'm on it. As he sips his martini, we zoom in, and here we are on a helicopter. Gotta love these 8-bit style cutscenes. Pretty great. So here we are. We, we start as Fork at the bottom, and uh, as you can see, we're in this like dark, cold, cavernous area. So the goal of this game is to collect monies and get to the top of the mountain. Um, I have played about an hour of this game, and that is about how long it should take you to finish it. However, <laughs> I could not get past this one part in the game. I was having such a hard time. So, yeah, when you uh, scale the mountain, you'll get to these areas here with the, the campsites, and those are your checkpoints. Once you hit a campsite or see one pop up, you will be thanking the game profusely. Because you'll be like, oh, great, I don't have to do that part again. I found myself saying that, oh, way too often while playing this. And I also found myself uh, finding money and going, screw that. Because I, I don't need the money that bad. Plus, every time you die, you actually lose money that's in your total already. So you'll, you'll see your money is down there in the bottom. We're, we're at 20000 but as you die, you'll lose money. You'll notice, you'll notice that once we start dying here. There's another checkpoint. So yeah, I, I think I got about 53 minutes into the game. Could not get past this one part. And I decided to completely restart the game and show it off from the beginning. Because I, I feel like the beginning of the game really shows off a, a, a great cinematic that you had to see. There's a sweater there. The sweater is, believe it or not, a bad guy. Now, the controls are a bit interesting. Uh, you know, A is to jump like most platformers. If you hold the top trigger button, if you're using a, a controller, uh, that is your run. But you, obviously you could walk as well, but I find myself holding the run button in most of the time, kind of like in Spelunky. This game definitely needs an, an auto run feature put in, just like they did with Spelunky. Um, the unique piece, though, to the game that makes it super difficult is the uh, rope climbing. So when you use the uh, X button, which is uh, what I'm using because I'm using an Xbox controller, but using the X button, what you got here is uh, these spikes that you throw, and basically you throw it to one side, and then you throw it to another side, and boom, you have yourself a rope. We're just going to sail right by the sweater. So then we gotta throw the next rope, and then the next one, and we basically just gotta keep climbing up back and forth like this. Something interesting to note um, is that you can throw further if you hold the run button down. So, just for example, here's with it the run button down, here, here it is with it not down. See, a little, little more of an arc, so if you're going for more of a soft lob, depending on where you wanna go, that's what you want to do. Then, of course, uh, you can completely mix any proje uh, progress you've made with the ropes. Oh, that was awful. There we go. By hitting Y and boom, there they go. That's really all there is to the game. That's that's it. And for a free game. Oh, jeez, sometimes you'll get throws like that where you're like, what am I doing? And then you'll 
it's a good idea to ju just kind of restart because sometimes you'll get into a bind where you're throwing those. And you have no choice but to start over. Now this particular part is not, not too bad, but once you get into the further portions of the game, you might be ripping your hair out, because that is what happened for me. Of course, that is if I had hair, I'd be ripping it out. Okay, so we throw one there, throw one here, perfecto, and we can get the money. 50,000, I feel like that's the most I've ever gotten in this game. So, as I was saying earlier, for a free game, this game is pretty much top-notch. There we go, there's the checkpoint. Considering you can go right on Steam, download this, I don't think it's very big. Well, there's two very quick checkpoints, I wonder why. Odd that they would put two checkpoints in there like that, considering uh, you'll get to some portions later in the game. You'd be like, where is the damn checkpoint? Okay, can I jump on these guys? Yes, I can. So you jump on these penguins, they'll actually give you a little boost. Oh, there we go. We're doing pretty good. So yeah, you'll notice that I skipped over a lot of that money. But that's because I know that for me, it's futile to think that I'd even get close to collecting it. Okay, there's another checkpoint, which is great. Oh, and there's the first death. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to jump on the sweater, but I couldn't do it! There we go. So, down at the bottom there, you'll notice because of my first death, that my money has gone down about five grand. So instead of the wonderful 50 I was at, I am now at 45. There we go, another checkpoint. Alright, so here is our first devilish look at the game. See, right here, I wish there was a checkpoint. Because <laughs> this next part, I remember having a pretty hard time with. Okay. Nope, we don't want that. So this might be where throwing one with a lob like that, see, might actually be better than always holding the button down. But you, the trick is to get the perfect arc on that rope. See, I feel like that ice might still hit me there. Let's find out. Nope, we're good. Oh! He said as he fell to his death. Okay, let's lob one again. Boom. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, jump right into the icicles. And when you're playing this game, you will find yourself doing that stuff constantly. Especially if you get frustrated by some of these challenges. You'll be like, I got this, I figured it out. Oh no. Oh. There you go. Oh. I need him to jump again. Oh, right into the ice. Get a little bit of that speed. No! Not that much speed. And my money is quickly falling. Okay. Okay, we're doing good, doing good. Alright, we will start over here. So, some of these tighter areas you'll find yourself... See, right here there should be a check mark. Uh, a checkpoint. Where is my campsite? But in these tighter areas here, like I just came through, you'll see that that was just a sample because they're going to throw a lot of those in your way. There we go. There's our checkpoint. Now, <laughs> you see, you see how evil the de the developers are. Look at that. They put everything right in the middle there.
Oh, wow, I did it. But you see that. They're devilish. They don't really want you to succeed, you know what I mean? Okay. Climbing, climbing. There's our checkpoint. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out about this game is the song that loops throughout the, the normal game is awesome. Sound effects and everything as well. Absolutely love it. Has such a great feel to it. Definitely feels like a game that could have came out on Super Nintendo. But the music is just so catchy. There's definitely been a rise in people creating like very catchy. Let's see if I can grab this money and get out. Ugh. No, no. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're all right. Do last checkpoint, and boom, it'll send us up here. But I think that counts as a death, so I don't know. Oh, we didn't have our money. That's right. Any money you collect that you didn't have before the checkpoint is gone. If you die, so... Now this one's gonna be tough because the snow bounces everywhere. Everywhere that I need to go. Okay, so we hang here, jump up, there we go. As I was saying, it seems like there's been a resurgence of people making very catchy uh, Nintendo, you know, Super Nintendo and NES style music as of late. No! We'll just... I don't know. There we go. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... For the sake of brevity, let's keep on moving, right? But pe people are making some really good music for games nowadays. And, personally, I'm not even, like, the biggest... Oh my god, he nailed me with that snowball. I'm not even the biggest video game music lover. But, I mean, with games like Spelunky and, what was the other one, Mercenary Kings, Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a game where I love the music more than I actually like the game. And sure, not all of it is uh, in the vein of a 16-bit style game or anything, but it's all really cool music, man. It's music you could listen to and not be embarrassed listening to going like, hey, this is from a game. Believe it! Alright, I still did not get any kind of a checkpoint. There we go, there's a checkpoint. Yeah, so so far so good. We're, we're moving along pretty good. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's see if I can grab this money without dying. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Throw one. Nope, not there. Throw one there. Yep, that's what we want. One up there. Keep climbing. We're moving. Can't believe I'm actually in the positive now. I feel like the first time I ran through or tried to run through this game, I I was in the negative for my money. Constantly. I could I could not keep I could not keep a positive number for that stuff. Yeah, sometimes those ropes get tricky if you you can actually aim them when you're throwing them. So I mean if you're just facing away and you're holding the run button and throw, he'll he'll just throw it straight like that, which is what I prefer to do. Sometimes you'll be jumping, or at least I will be, and I won't notice that I'm holding down on my directional pad and he'll do that. So then you, you end up wasting a rope, especially if you need that rope in that moment. And hopefully I get to a situation where I can show that off to you. But considering it's a free game, and it's actually really well made for a game that I guess only took them a little while to make, uh, I think the controls not being completely perfect is it's kind of a small price to pay, really. So now you see there's there's that rope there, right? Now, when I throw the next one, that bottom rope should disappear. See that? 
that's where you could run into situations where if you're still on that bottom rope trying to climb up, you might as well just restart your ropes and find your way up. Oh, see, that's no good. Okay, ends up I didn't need it, so that's good. Whoa! See, look at that. That guy is sneaky. Tri oh my god, and it sent us all the way back down. So this is where, you know, the frustration will set in with this game. Is when you spend all this time getting through an area like this. And this part's not too hard, to be quite honest. But if you get to a much harder area, and believe me, they they will show up. Oh. Oh, jeez, see that? There we go, we're still moving. Still doing okay. Yeah, and honestly, this, this area here is... It's nothing compared to what I was dealing with. Oh my god, what am I doing? Running around like crazy. Throw your next one, dude. There we go. Okay, we're good. But before you were. There it is. Right? Okay, we're good. Is it a fluke that those snowballs were. Okay, there they are. I just thought that was a fluke that those snowballs were landing where they were. And look how close I was to the next checkpoint. But now we're here. I kind of remember this part being a little bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, this is the best way to go. I guess right here is safe. But where to now? Okay, there is safe. Oh. Okay. Oof! And I ran into him. I find this game especially hard to talk to. <laughs> so if I'm not finishing points that I'm talking about, you'll understand why. Because I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do in this uh, situation here. Okay. Okay, we're doing good, doing good. So i got to avoid that and that. Jumped on it. Nice. Was not expecting that I could do that. Okay, um... Where to go from here? Throw that one. That's good. Nice. Works for me. Oh, this section looks fun. Oh, boy. Forget it. Just die and get back here. Okay. Let's try this again. So, you cannot throw... Oof. You cannot throw your... Your ropes into those areas. The, uh, the snow, that is. Yeah, what I wouldn't give to have, like, the Mario Raccoon tail in this part... Good. Doing good. We're up. Oh, and no... <laughs> no checkpoint yet? Okay. It's probably going to be right up here, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Let's start this over. So some, sometimes it's a better idea to just avoid the money and just go for the exit, at least for me. I feel like uh, if you want to try to perfect playing this game, yeah, you know, keep trying to get the money and see what the best way is to get for it and see if you can go for 
some kind of a perfect run or something like that, but for me, I know that is not something that's going to happen. Not something I, I really have time for. So, my goal with this is really just to hopefully finish it at some point. There we go. Okay, checkpoint. That's a good checkpoint. Okay, can I hang out in front of you? Yes, I can. Oh boy. Okay. Wow, the rope is still hanging out over there. Okay. So I gotta wait for that snowball. And I got the money. Take that, snowman. Oh, that was not exactly... Oh, that might work. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. And that money bag is really tempting, but I'm going to pass on it for right now. Oop, too high. There we go. Alright, if I remember this part correctly, this part, besides the part that I was stuck on before I restarted, Oh my god, this part. <laughs> Let's see how good I do. I've gotten past it once before. Let's Maybe I'm belly aching for nothing, but... Oh! And it begins. Okay, we're still okay. We're still okay. Yeah. So there's that beautiful golden egg right there. And I bet it's tied to an achievement or something like that, because I I have not gotten it yet. But it does look alluring, doesn't it? Okay, I feel like what I did was I actually kept climbing this way through the middle. Okay, we're doing that was not bad. Actually, that, that would probably be better. Throw it there. Throw it up. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, checkpoint. Oh my god, I did that in like two or three tries. Just goes to show, you take a little bit of time away from the game, you come back to it, and for some reason you're better at it? I, I can't explain it. But let's try and get this egg, since we're here. I mean, we'll, we'll checkpoint up there, so once I get tired of it, we can just move on. But... I'd like to see if I could at least get close to getting this egg. I guess it really would have been better to start in the bottom, wouldn't it? Because then you can come up and you still got your ropes. Alright. Actually, this might work out really well. Wow, I got it! And it is tied to an achievement, cool. Excellent is the achievement name. Now the real question is how the hell am I gonna get back up? Because once I die here. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to do. Once I die here, I will lose the egg. There it is, boom. Egg goes back. Still got the achievement though, I guess. I guess that's I guess that's what matters. But it was cut on film, I I caught I had the egg for a minute. That's what's important. Oh man, I remember this part being a pain too. Okay, those guys throw their snowballs. Uh, is this place safe? This is safe. Okay, so now I can go up here. Yeah, I really wish I could shoot the yetis with my, my stuff here. Is it gonna bounce up? Yep. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we do... nope, do that. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to make it past that. There's no way. Oh, right into the snowball. Yeah, so for those of you watching, um, you know, this is, this is the game. I mean, this is the... Pretty much the idea of the game. You've seen it. You know what to expect. I'm I'm gonna keep playing here. Oh, 
crap. So you are free to keep watching here and see see how far I actually can, can get. Oh crap. Okay. There we go. Okay, level me off, right? Okay, we're doing good here. We are doing pretty pretty fantastic. Okay, can we reach that? Yes, we can. Get a little speed. No, don't. Okay, yeah, don't jump into that stuff. But for those of you wondering if you should check this out, even though it's a free game, why wouldn't you want to check out a free game? At least now you have an idea if, if this is for you. Reach that, there we go. Okay. Moving along pretty damn well here. We're at the 24 minute mark. And I feel like... Oh, jeez. I feel like the last time I played through this part... Uh, it, it, I don't know, it's probably at the 45 minute mark, so... Things have definitely improved for me. Me and... Fort Parker. Okay, so we jump on this thing... And we jump on that thing. Ugh. No, that is not what we want. Okay. Here we go. That's a good one. Yep, moving, moving, moving. Okay, this is where we really gotta be careful. Okay, that's a good one right there. Okay, we sail down, we throw one up, throw one over. Well, I don't like to boast too much about my game playing, but I, I have definitely gotten better who just because believe it or not this was the part I was stuck on before I restarted the game now you notice that this part is treacherous treacherous treacher us Let's see if I can save the game we got some money though so we are in the positive oh man but see now I don't I don't know how to approach this part going down I feel is a lot harder than actually going up. Shooting down is not my forte. Ugh, and that was such a bad throw. Oh. And oh, see, we gotta jump through all that again. Ooh, they. But my timing, man. La last time I was at this particular part. I don't know how much time I had spent playing trying just to get through this part, but I was at like the 53 minute mark, and now I'm under 30 minutes, so... Hey, that's a little bit of improvement on my part, right? Okay, we throw one up there, we throw one... Ooh, that is not great. Nope, that's dead, dead, okay. So I really don't know how much of the mountain is actually left. Uh, I do know that at one point I got the halfway up the mountain achievement. I don't remember what number that is, but I, I feel like I'm super close. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna give up. Maybe we should throw this way first. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna give up at some point around now, <laughs> and I'm pretty near the top. But I don't know that for sure. Okay, moving good, moving good. I mean, I will keep playing if I manage to make it through this part. Oh, jeez. See, he threw it down. There goes my rope. 
I've still got to, ugh. God. There we go. Okay. Keep moving for Parker. Shit. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot. Great. Oh, okay, one, just one more. I feel like I got. Uh, now with throws like that, I don't. And that is where I was talking about earlier, where throwing accidental hooks can really screw you. So let's throw that. It's almost like you have to remember to let go of the directional pad before you throw. Because yeah, you can you can really screw yourself in this game. And I often forget. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Do not hit the ice, dude. Okay, good, we leveled. Good, good, okay. Now to move down. If I die here, we're done! <laughs> so I threw one over there. Now I gotta throw one. Uh, let's see. One there. Oh, that's it. We're done. That was Fort Parker, everybody. The Holiday Profit Hike, I believe it's called. Fun game. Fun game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through it, though. I, mean, I would really like to see what's at the top of the mountain, see if there's another great cutscene, but I just wanted to show it to you, uh, give you an idea of what the game is all about, and I think it's definitely worth your time. It's a cool game. Uh, you probably put an hour or two into it, and uh, it's a good time waster. And I, I think... Uh, they did a great job in developing this game, uh, even if it only took a couple days and everything. It's it's a pretty solid, polished game, considering it may have only taken them that long to create it. Until next time, gamers!